Actually, we're just going to do one video for now, unless I get a lot of questions in the comment section. And I would recommend on when you're looking at your assignment and working on it, if you have questions, um, write them in the comment. Chances are one of your classmates might answer it for you, or I'll see it and I'll address it also. Okay, so let's look at the second part of this. And we're going to use a pretty straightforward one here. X squared minus 6x minus 16 equals 0. Now, the directions are use key parts and graph this. So we are going to find, we are going to find the roots or the zeros. We're going to find the axis of symmetry. We're going to find the vertex. And the last thing is the y-intercept. So we're going to start to graph it as we go. I'm going to put a little graph down here. So right now, things I know. Y-intercept. Remember, this is y, this is x. My y-intercept's at negative 16. <laughs> I know it's there. I know this is a field goal. Leading coefficient out front is positive. Remember, that makes a parabola like this. If it is negative, you got a penguin going like that. All right, so we already have one of our points done. Let's factor this. Find our two roots and put them on the graph. All right. So x, x. I got a negative, so it's a plus minus. Uh, ways to get 16, 8, and 2. I, I think we have enough to get 6 right there, right? Okay, so I want a negative 8 and a positive 2. And there we go. All right. So remember, x equals this at, well, to make that zero, it'd have to be a negative two or a plus eight. All right, got my roots. We're really close now. Negative two, now this is not to scale because that negative 16. Definitely not to scale. It's okay, it's a sketch. We'll be good. All right, we need the axis of symmetry. Now the axis of symmetry is halfway between these two. We can do it that way. Let's try it that way. So halfway between two numbers. Well, it's the average. So we could add them together. And then you divide by two, says it is three. Axis of symmetry. All right, that's one method. So we can go over here to three. All right, that's at x equal to 3. Now, if you remember our other shortcut that we did on that, because sometimes that's a pain, or it's going to be a fraction, is our axis of symmetry is equal to negative b over 2a. Uh, and you should have that in your notes if you kept your notebook, which is probably still at school, sorry. Hopefully you get that back. All right. So, a in this case, up here, is a 1. <coughs> Oh, excuse me, b is a negative 6. So that is equal to a negative negative 6 over 2 times 1. Okay, now negative negative is a positive, which is equal to 6 over 2, which equals 3. Same thing right there. All right, two ways to get it. All right, the last thing, only thing we need now is our vertex, which is on this line. So we know the x value is 3. So we just plug it back in up above. So we plug the AOS in. So we're going to get 3 squared. This is y. We're trying to find our y. 3 squared minus 6 times 3 minus 16. Looks like a big number, minus number to me. All right, 9 minus 18 minus 16. Okay, we have 9 minus 18 is a negative 9 minus another 16 is a negative 25. Which means down here at, uh, where are we at? 3, negative 25 is our vertex. Here's our parabola. Nice curve there. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so vertex 
is equal to 3, negative 25. All right, that pretty much covers it. Uh, what I'd recommend as you do the graphing part, and you want to see how it works, you can even do it on the first part, is go to desmos.com and use their calculator, and you can graph this thing out. Do the hand work first, do it by hand first, and then graph this, and you should be able to see your exact points in that graph, all right, and be able to sketch it. All righty, so um, again, these assignments probably aren't going to take you that long. The, the idea is that the whole week takes you an hour and a half. By the time you watch my two videos, take some notes on the videos. That will help. Uh, and remind yourself how to do it. And then go in um, and work on the assignment. Um, break it up into two parts, two days. Uh, there will be a short quizzes uh, at the end of the week. Basically show me you can do a couple of these. And that will be how I monitor your uh, progress for the week. All right, give me a comments. Let me know how you're doing. Good week. Good uh, good luck this week. Have fun.